It's about taking risks. Risks? It's not an excuse for recklessness. And caution isn't a synonym for cowardice. How can you really film a really nice cinematic short film? In this video, I'm going to break it down how I shot a short film and how sometimes I create my own short films. And this can really help you also to do the same. And then you can also have one or two short films to your portfolio and also helps you. Because this is also the reason why a lot of people create short films as a filmmaker and as a cinematographer, just to help your portfolio and to have something to be able to show to your, let's say, your future potential clients or stakeholders. So this can help you get some funding or also get some better recognition. And this is the reason why people really film short film in the first place. When we talk about short film, now let's talk about, let's think about the story. What's your short film? What is it going to be about? This is the first thing you really need to understand when you're creating a short film. Okay, sometimes it doesn't have to be deep, but sometimes as a filmmaker, you want to also make sure you are not putting out a very lame work out there. And this is also a very important thing not to overlook or think, okay, it's just a small short film. No, don't do it that way. Just think about your story and how that story will be told and if you can if you have to create a storyboard create a storyboard for it if you don't have enough time or the skills or resources to let's say create a storyboard create a short listing what type of shot you're going to get and how you're going to get those shots this is very important that is after once you already figure out your story When you're filming a short film or creating a short film, you want to make sure 100% you prep your characters, you prep your actors and actresses. You have a coffee with them, you explain to them uh, and you guys brainstorm together. And this will help you during your filming because you already get to know them and they already get to know you. You guys already have some kind of, you build a trust and connection because if you're working with people you don't trust and you won't have the best of them because there'll be there'll always be this war between you and them so and having let's say a brainstorming prepping them already remove all these walls and all these blocks in between you and your uh, actors or your characters and so it's really really important so prep your actors and actresses before filming any of your short film A day before or two days before my filming, I always prep my gears. I charge all the batteries, I get the right lenses, I get the right filters, I make sure the memory card I want to use, everything is good, it's not corrupt. So every time or once we get on the film set, everything just goes smoothly. Because in most cases, I'm only the one just filming everything all by myself, filming, editing, stories and so on. And so. However, I do all this by myself. But anyway, what I'm trying to say is prep your gears in the right and also try to keep your gears as minimal as you can which location you want to use try to understand your location because the location will help you to prep your gears you really need for your short film think about the scope of your documentary what is in scope and also what is out of scopes so this if you have this mindset of in scope and out scope will already help you to understand okay I don't need this and I need this because you already know in scope and you already know out scope of your short films. When you are filming a short film, there are three things you really want to do. The one of these very first thing is to film with intention. This thing is something I can talk about well enough to anybody because when you're filming a short film or when you're filming anything in general, you want to film with intention. You want to be specific with your shot. Filming a short film doesn't mean just film a lot of random things and put it together and make a story out of it. Of course, sometimes there's something called improv storytelling and improvisation in terms of storytelling is different when you already have a plan in terms of short film. So if you know you are creating improvisation films, then it's different. But if you're not creating an improvisation film, you just want to create a short film, please film with intention. The second thing, why you're filming, why you're filming, pay attention to your characters, pay attention to what you're doing, 
pay attention to the lighting and so on. It's also part of filming with intention, but again, more details will help you understand it. And the last thing is why you're filming is use the right lens and use the right focal lens. And the reason why you want to use the right lens and right focal length is because if you're trying to tell a story of a, someone in the street and you're filming with something like a very close lens, the people won't be able to get it. That's just like the simplest example I can give when it comes to like filming your short film. And again, I'll share with you a very short film I just filmed uh, recently at the end of this video and then you can watch it and you can enjoy and um, again it's not done yet it's still in production but just like a little bit you get like the sense of what the films and it's going to be all about so not an excuse for recklessness. And caution isn't a synonym for paradise. But it's our dream on the line, isn't it? It's our dream. It's our dream. So thank you guys, thank you very much, thanks for watching this video. If you really enjoyed this video, drop a like and also drop a comment so then a lot of people can get to see this video. Until next time, I will see you in the next one. Ciao!